No matter you are researcher, you are student, you are professor or any other person. But whenever it comes to research, you have to think not only twice but thrice and many more times. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Priya Sipaha and in this video we are going to discuss how to select research topic. What is research? Research is basically a work or a search which has been already done. Now you are doing research on that particular topic. Now what should be research of that particular topic? It may be any type of analysis, may be a critical analysis, may be legal analysis, may be comparative analysis. It may be informative, it may be significant or it may be a demand of some new law, it may be demand of some amendment, it may be uh, some topic or some ideas which need to be flagged in a present scenario. So it may be anything. So always remember research is something where you have to present a new idea of that particular search which has been already done. If it is not new, if it is not something new out of that research, it won't be a very good research. So before starting any research work, you have to understand why you want to do research because that is the most important question and that is the thing which reflects on your research very evidently so any research needs dedication information continuity exhaustive study and definitely passion before starting any research it is necessary to understand what is the purpose of that particular research why you want to do that research whether it is only due to the demand of your institution, whether it is a part of your curriculum, whether you want to write a dissertation or you want to write a PhD or it is for the only a synopsis submission, any project, any moot court or any other thing. What is the purpose and why you are writing? If that is clear, then it will be easy for you to select a research topic and also it is easy for you to select the significance of that particular research. Now the next thing is rat race. If it is only for the rat race just because others are doing that's why I also want to do that particular research then I'm sorry to say you're not going to succeed in that particular thing. For research, it is necessary that you have to be very, very passionate about the research. You are really into that research and you really want to work to know and to research something new and significant. The next purpose could be to increase or to make a value on your CV. That is also a good sign. If you want to add a value in your CV, now a days it is important to do a research work. So if it is so also, then it is also necessary that whatever research topic or whatever research you are selecting, that should be very focused and very interesting. And first of all, it is necessary that you must be interested in that particular topic. Now the fourth thing is you genuinely want to do research. That means you want to know something more, you want to know what is a new thing, you want to do findings, you want to analyze something. There is something which is really important for you to do it. Somehow you are passionate about research and you want to do something remarkable on a particular topic. If this is your motto, then definitely it will reflect in your research work and this is going to help you a lot. Always remember research must be very, very exhaustive in nature. That means you have to read a lot and that reading should not be only online, which is easily available on many websites. It is there that is also a good source but apart from it it is necessary to understand and read your books acts magazine newspaper journals and many much things because it requires your attention of that particular topic if you are starting your research work it is not at all necessary that you must write straight away the research paper or an article. You can start with blog also, case comments also and book review also. That is also brilliant thing to start research. 
and again it is also not necessary for new researchers to submit your research paper in an international uh, conference only or to write an article for international journal only it is not at all necessary you may start with any of the short thing that means book review is the best part case comment is the best part or you must attend your moot courts also because they are also uh, research is very very important so you can start with anything which is not in a bigger platform but where the research is necessary you may write also blogs because blogs are also now these days are very very important factor and that is also important to increase your research skill now as far as blog submission is considered you may publish your blog in any of the website nowadays there are many website which are publishing blog even our website logolicu.com are also publishing submission all sort of submission no matter it is blog it is case commentary it is news articles research paper many things similarly there are many other uh, websites which are publishing blogs other than this you can start with these website then there are law review also then there are university website also then there are university blog also there are national and international blogs also so you may select which type of publication you want to start with you may publish your article in any of the journal it may be a journal of a reputed university it may be journal of national university international university of national level of journal or international level of journal it, it may be a law review it may be a legal blog it may be anything you have to select according to your research work which type of research journal is applicable for your article the next thing is conference proceeding you may also write a research paper and you can attend your conference any of the conference no matter it is national conference or international con conference it may be organized by the private sector or a company also it may be organized by the universities also or at any level you have to identify which type of research work is yours and then you can give your research paper on that particular conference it may happen that it could be published in the conference proceeding as well or maybe if they are having a journal that may be published in the journal related to that particular university or company wherever you are submitting your research paper now the next thing which is very important to write or to do a research is know your audience now here know your audience could be if you are doing a research for presenting a paper or presenting a work in a class then your audience will be your classmates also and your teachers also that is something which is a quite comfort area because you are presenting a paper in front of a known people no matter whichever platform you are selecting for your research work maybe it is a conference maybe it is a journal maybe it is book synopsis dissertation or any other thing you have to be very particular when you are selecting your topic as well when you are selecting your idea because the selection of word should be very clear very significant which should influence your audience and which can attract your audience it should not be very prolonged it should not be very vague but it should be very concrete at that particular time it should be very explicit also your knowledge reflects in your writing your research works your passion of writing your interest area always reflects in your writing so you have to select a wonderful words also that words must not be very wordy because it should be very precise concrete and contact and then you have to write it if you are presenting a paper in a conference then your audience are unknown then you have to be very particular very selective on your research paper then you have to select a good language good body language and also those type of words which could attract or influence your audience and your research must be so informative and significant which should attract the attention of the audience similarly as i said earlier also you can write a book chapter also you can write book review also and you can write 
case commentary also again as per the demand of any of the journal any of the blog any of the website of any of the national and international level of reputed journal or website now there are many ways to select a topic the best way who are really not sure which type of topic they have to select so they must select that type of journals that type of blogs or that type of book chapter where it is already prescribed because in some area which is specific the topics or idea of topics has been already given you may select that particular topic which is of your interest and in which you can do and write more and more research and you can present your idea in a wonderful manner so that is the easiest way to select those particular journal or a blog where it has been already specified that which the second thing is your research topic must be very very interesting if it is not interesting that it will not going to attract your audience similarly the third thing is not only interesting but it should be very significant if it is not significant then it will be waste of time not for you for the audience also and definitely it will be rejected in the initial part only so you have to select that particular topic which is not only interesting but significant also now the next thing which is important to select your topic is if you are passionate about that particular topic or that particular area of research now you have to find out which type of area you are passionate about if you are a law student then there are n number of acts there are n number of law as far as my interest area is concerned my, it is always a criminal law and criminology in my llm i did a research on white collar crime but when i have to do phd i was very very passionate about criminology that's why i have selected a topic on psychopath behavior but psychopath behavior doesn't mean that that is a topic of psychology as i am a law professor i have selected i have clubbed that particular topic to the criminal justice system so that is something which was new at that particular time so i have clubbed these these two topics and then i started my research because i am passionate about that particular topic now the next thing is a critical analysis now the critical analysis must be on the basis when you are having a solution also that solution could be a new law also that could be amendment in something a present law or it could be a new idea where you need a focus now there can be research topic on which you want to aware someone because that particular topic is not given a proper significance or proper emphasis in the present scenario so that particular topic could be a good research area for you now always remember that your title or a research topic must be very specific yet explicit and unambiguous because i have seen as a professor of law i have come across with many students who come with a very very vague topic like some students say i want to do research on women in law now women in law is something such a big topic you can select you have to be precise and concrete which particular law which particular thing you want to do now the next thing is your topic should not be very prolonged or vague it should be very specific very concrete and it should be as short as it can be so that a person can read and similarly understand so that's all about how to select a research topic i hope you like the video and if you like it do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel you may also follow us on various social media platforms in linkedin youtube facebook instagram and many more we are also having our website where you can find the detailed law notes and case review case comment blogs and many more things so that's all for today see you soon take care bye bye